What's going on everybody? Um, this is a real quick video. I'm going smallmouth fishing tomorrow, but I want to do a real quick video to update you guys on my smallmouth boxes, uh, my river boxes as I put it in the previous video. And I needed a video to kind of post some cell phone footage I shot. So before we get into the boxes, I went out the other morning smallmouth fishing. The river's finally down enough where I can get out on in the fishing kayak. Uh, the whitewater guys are still out there, but it's it's kind of right on that that bubble <sighs> Stupid phone um, but um, I left I left my paddle at home and All of my memory cards So I got out to the river and I couldn't paddle the kayak the river's too high to wait and I couldn't record or anything Anyway, I made it to one rock right off the launch and no lie I caught my PB smallmouth on a whopper plopper have no footage of it couldn't go anywhere couldn't record it it happened off camera all I could think to do was grab my cell phone and shoot some quick selfie video so I'll put that video at the end um, I came home I marked the, the fish on the boat and all 18 and a half inches 18 and a half inches the fish actually had looked like a red tail creek chub or something down its throat a bluegill but the tail on that fish down its throat was about two and a half of my fingers wide this, this, the tail that was sticking out of this smallmouth's throat was like that. This was a tank of a smallie. So um, I'm going back out in the morning. So I've already got my memory cards in the truck and the paddles in the truck and the life jackets in the truck. Didn't take the boat out of the truck. So hopefully we won't have a fail. But real quick, let's get into this real quick. Um, so had a couple comments from people either on Facebook or on my last video about baits to possibly try. Um, a couple things that I've added to the box that weren't in the initial video was this little wicked deal here. Um, that's a, a Matzuo topwater popper. It's a popper that walks a dog. It's got a tungsten weight in it. I found this at Ollie's for $2.99. Um, and then they also had a teeny version. Look at that, little small version. Um, about as long as my finger. It's got these flared gills. I can't wait to see what it does in the water. It's got tungsten weights and oval split shots. So usually they put an oval split shot on a um, split, split ring, oval split ring on a bait. And they're, uh, they put a little bit more attention to detail in it. Um, let's see, what else have I added? Uh, let's go to this box. So um, one of the things that people were adamant about me doing was tubes. So um, I've got some... I've got some older zoom tubes, but I still need a, I need a recommendation on, on what actually actual tubes you guys are using. Um, to catch them but I went and got these which were um, a suggestion by one of my subscribers after I put his name up at the top I appreciate it I can't remember your name right now uh, these are Oldham's weedless tube lure jig heads 3 16 ounce um, I got 3 16 hoping that they won't tumble come down the current so bad they're gonna move I got a lot of current but hopefully not so these are weedless It's three in a pack um, and we'll try these out they've got a screw lock but I don't think I'm gonna be using that I'm gonna put them inside the tube um, I've added some Ned Rig heads to this box. Um, and then the other thing, which is very interesting, that I added to this box is a jig. Um, but I added two, two different jigs. So this jig came highly recommended for smallmouth from uh, somebody who follows my Facebook page. And this is a jig sold on Facebook. Um, this is JB Jigs. Uh, I'll put his Facebook information up there. I got mosquitoes biting my leg. Um, but this is a handmade it's got a let me take it out I haven't taken these out of the package yet because I bought them it was still too cold and the river's been too high um, this is a hand tied jig uh, usually I use my own but this is hand tied he actually makes the molds himself painted it himself um, nice hook when you order these you can specify a lot of a lot of different parts and things that you want but that's a really nice hook uh, good color so I can't wait to use that. I got two of them um, just to try them out. So this one, it's got a flake head on it, orange and brown, uh, football jig, 3 8 ounce, custom color, hook size is number four. Um, again, this is JB's jigs. He's got a lot of colors and different head designs on his Facebook page because he's making them himself. So can't wait to try that out. Um, I forgot your name, but he said he's throwing it on 17 pound test in clear water. Yeah, 17 pound test, clear water. Okay. Hey, I'm asking for help, so I'm not gonna knock it, but that seems, that's gonna be rough for somebody like me. 
this other bait I cannot wait to throw like the attention to detail in this jig is phenomenal and uh, this is local I was walking through one of our small local tackle shops and I stumbled across this so he's on Facebook too um, but he makes these locally in Central Virginia this is three-eighths of an ounce I paid four dollars for it I'm gonna have to put a still up of it look at that motion on this skirt I can't even keep the skirt still can you imagine that sitting on the bottom of the river? Look at that. With that little bit of current, I mean, that's like, that's a hammer. All right. It's got a super fine wire weed guard on it. No brush guard. So this is, I can throw this on light line. Um, the skirt is tied as if you would tie a fly. Like that's literally whipped just like tying a fly. That skirt's not moving. It's got a wire keeper, which quite possibly may be an extension of the wire that's the weed guard. But it's got a wire keeper for the trailer on there. Um, if you put a Z-Man trailer on that, that's just like the keeper on a Ned on a Ned rig hook. It's not going anywhere. But look at the skirt. I mean, it's so subtle and fine. And I mean, I can't. I, I need to reach out to this guy. But this is a phenomenal bait. It's got a flat bottom on a football head. So you see it standing up in my hand. But look at the motion on that skirt. All you need is a little bit of current, and you've got very subtle secondary action. And, I just can't imagine this thing not getting hammered. Light wire hook. You could throw this on a spinning rod. Um, again, that is, let me see if the camera will pick it up. But y'all check them out, man, and tell them I sent them there. Patterson Custom Baits. These are hand-tied football jigs. This color is orange crawl. Uh, let's see, what's the website? I'll put the website down below. I'll put it at the bottom of the video probably, but... Patterson's custom baits at gmail.com is his email and then Facebook will be facebook.com forward slash Patterson's custom baits These are these are hammers right here. I got it in a what I got a I got a black and blue in a quarter and I got the Three-eighths with the orange crawl. So um, I've got all my bases covered 379 for a handmade bait. That's freaking awesome Well, have I added anything else new to this? Dun, dun, dun. No, I've got some same flipping jigs in here. And that's about that. Um, one thing that I'm going to throw tomorrow, um, like I said, I did add Ned rigs to the box. Um, right now, my water's got too much color to use a Ned rig. Um, but the last thing that I got tied on today is this. Okay, that's a Magic Swimmer, the 95. I know that's small. <clears throat> I'm, I'm working my way up though. Um, but that fish had a big bait fish in his gullet, like right in his throat. So I'm going to throw this tomorrow and see what happens. So we'll see what the watercolor is. It's been 48 hours since I was out. So the river could drop significantly in 48 hours. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Enjoy my fail. Man, you guys, I left my camera all my memory cards at the house today. I left my freaking paddle at the house today. Look what I just got. That is quite possibly my PB smallmouth. I don't even know if I can show it. I'm gonna turn the camera up. Look at the size of this smallie compared to my chest. Holy crap. He hit right there off of that rock, right in front of me. I was about to pull it out the water on a freaking whopper blopper. Whoa! All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna measure them against my rod. I'm gonna measure them against my fishing rod to see how long he is. But look at the lip and the mouth on this guy. Let me see if I can get that in there. Whoa! He has a bluegill down his throat. Man, I hope that's on camera. Where's his mouth? There's a bluegill in there. You no, know, you're a big small. Swim bait time. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. All right, I'm cutting this off. Take care of this fish.